The Storyteller presents The Ugly Duckling. It was a lovely and warm summer day in the country. In the rushes by the pond, a mother duck sat hatching her eggs. Oh, my! It's getting warm! I wish the eggs would hatch so I can go for a swim. A few days later, the eggshells started to break. Cheep, cheep! All the little ducks were born. They were happy to see the beautiful sunlight and the meadow with its pretty flowers. But Mother Duck was very worried. One of the eggs did not break. She asked one of the older duck ladies, What could have happened to this egg? I cannot leave it. I bet it's a turkey egg. Why don't you just leave it? Mark my words, it's a turkey egg. The mother duck could not bring herself to leave the nest and faithfully hatched the egg which was still left. At last the eggshell broke and the last duckling came out. My, you are an ugly little thing. You certainly don't look like any of my other children. The little ugly duckling felt very sad that his mother did not like the way he looked. He was so much bigger than his brothers and sisters that they did not like him at all. The mother duck took them to swim in the pond, and the ugly duckling swam right along with the rest of them. See how nicely he swims. He definitely is mine. Quack, quack. Come along, children. They started walking, single file. They passed an old duck who sat very proudly in the middle of the yard. Now, children, bow nicely to that old lady duck. She is very important. They all bowed as best as they could. The other ducks did not like to have all those new ducklings join in with them. We have too many people here already. We don't need any more. And look at that duckling. He is so ugly. <coughs> Suddenly, a big duck jumped out of the crowd and bit the ugly duckling in the neck. Now, now, be kind to him. He is still so young. I know, but he's so big and funny looking. The mother explained that he was in the egg too long, and that made him different from the others. She tried, but could not love him as much as she loved the rest. Everybody chased him and made fun of him, and they all said, He's too big and too ugly. Even his mother finally said, I wish you were far away from here. You just don't fit into our family. This made the duckling so sad that he decided to run away. He half walked, half flew, and got over the fence. Little birds that were sitting in the bushes behind the fence flew away in all directions. That's probably because I'm so ugly. He kept right on going until he finally reached a swamp. There he just slept for the rest of the night, too tired to move any further. The next morning, he met two wild ducks. Who are you? They asked, and the duckling bowed to them as nicely as he could. You are very ugly, you know. But as long as you don't come near us, you can stay. The poor fellow. All he wanted was some food and a place to rest in the swamp. He lay there for some time when two young geese came by. Hello there. Why are you here all by yourself? Come with us. We are flying south. That's very kind of you, but... The geese took off into the air, and suddenly there were two loud bangs. Both geese fell down dead from the hunter's bullets. <coughs> then a big dog came and took them away. He sniffed at the duckling, but left him alone. Thank goodness I'm so ugly. Even he did not want me. It was almost dark when the shooting stopped. Then the ugly duckling ran across the meadows until he came to a lonely old farmhouse. 
the wind began to blow, and it became colder and colder. The duckling found a warm place and stayed there all night. The following morning, he was found by an old woman who lived in the house with her cat and a hen. She was very fond of them and treated them like children. Well, what a lucky thing I found you. You could lay eggs for me and that would bring in some money. Her eyesight was so bad that she could not tell that the duckling was only a baby and a boy duckling. After several weeks, she still did not have any eggs from the duckling. Finally, the hen and the cat spoke to him. Do you lay eggs? No. Can you purr like me? No. Then, then what, what can, can you do? do? I can swim and dive underwater. They thought that was a very silly thing to do. Who ever heard of anyone liking to be in the water? I had better leave then. I am not wanted here either. It became fall, and the leaves were turning beautiful colors. It was beginning to get very cold. The poor duckling had nowhere to go. One evening, when he sat by a lake, he saw two beautiful white birds gliding through the water. He did not know that they were swans. They were so very beautiful that he felt warm, but strange inside. They flew out of the water with a terrible cry and went up in the sky, higher and higher. He stretched his neck to watch them until they were out of sight. He could never forget those beautiful birds. After they were gone, he dived underwater and stayed there for some time. When he came up again, he knew that he loved those birds. He did not know what they were called, but he really loved them. They won't like me, though. I'm too ugly. Winter came, and one night he froze in the ice of the swamp. In the morning, a farmer found him. You poor little fella, you're all frozen in. Here, I'll get you out. He chopped the ice around the duckling and took him home. After some time by the fire, the duckling started to come back to life. The farmer's children wanted to play with him, but he was so frightened that he ran all over the house. Luckily, the door was open and he ran outside. He suffered terribly during the winter, but he managed to survive. One day, the sun felt very warm, and flowers were springing up all over the meadows. It was spring again. He spread his wings, and suddenly, he knew that he'd become much stronger. He made his way to a beautiful garden. The trees were in bloom, and a lovely pond stretched out before him. In the pond were three beautiful swans. He recognized them at once and said to himself, I'll go to the beautiful birds and let them kill me. I am so ugly, they certainly would not want me around. But it is better to be killed by them than to suffer through another winter. He jumped into the water, swam up to them and said, Go ahead, kill me if you want. And he bowed his head towards the water. But what he saw in the water was such a surprise. He had become a beautiful white swan. Some children walking in the garden called out, Oh, look, we have a new swan. And how beautiful he is. The other swans thought him to be so young and handsome that they bowed to him. Welcome to our pond. We are pleased to meet you. Thank you. I would love to stay with you. The ugly duckling who had become a lovely swan was very happy. And he lived in the pond with the other swans forever after.